those that can't self-reflect are those individuals that will find themselves operate with inside a lot of self-limitations. When we fail to self-reflect, we cut off our ability to self-explore. We cut off our ability to be uh, to be have insight in terms of how we move. We have the inability to cancel any negative patterns that exist in our lives. When we're not able to self-reflect, we, we actually disable our ability to discern people that were around. When we fail to begin to self-reflect, we hinder our ability to grow. We hinder our, I mean, we hinder our ability to grow. When we can't self-reflect, we begin to start compromising ourselves in our lives. And the compromising begins to happen because as we fail to look at ourselves and, and take ownership of our lives and be the author in our own lives, we begin to look for other people to help write the script for how we should function in life. And that's dangerous because you now become a character or an actor in somebody else's play. In order to get out of that cycle, if you find yourself living out other people's expectations of you, and that's even including our parents or your cultural uh, rearing or whatever it may be, you're going to have to pause and really self-reflect and look like and ask yourself the question, is this the reality that I see for myself? Does this match my purpose? Does this match my self-image? Is this the picture that I really want to experience in my life? Is this how I really see it? If it, doesn't, if it doesn't match that, then that's a sign to let you realize that somewhere down the line, and probably in a series of courses in your life in different cycles, that you haven't engaged in enough self-reflection. And because of that, you're now limited and you're now hostage to the views and the opinions and the images how other people see you to see how, how to see how you fit inside their world and inside their script so you're playing somebody else's game and not playing your own game